My name's Guy Kestevan and I've been lucky enough to test the world's best bikes professionally for the past 20 years. And today, I'm with Stuart and Ben from Arrow from Forest Safaris and Andy, Sam and Ian, the design team behind the brand new white S150 Works. I mean straight away, there's a real sense of security and purpose about this bike. I haven't got the flare of Sam up front, but thanks to this bike, I can still carry him talking while I'm on his wheel. And if it does get sudden and twisty, the bike's all over it. And I'm not all over the ground. You expect 29 to carry speed, especially 150 mil travel. But I can do it with so much confidence. This is awesome. And it's not really harsh. It's got a nice warm feel for those big race face bars. Don't feel like I'm being punished. The bike feels like it's alive. Really thriving on the trail. Makes you take all sorts of liberties. Rude angles on this kind of single track. And a bike that lights up here is a bike that's going to light up anywhere. Tightening corners on loose? Doesn't care. Get it round, get that bar dropped, get the power on. Punch it out. Hit that. Over that. Yes, slide the tyres in, tight line. Running wide, bring the front end in. So on point, everything's there in your fist. What is particularly interesting about this bike is running custom offset, 42 mil on the fork, the front end, just so light and easy to twist. It really work that front tire. Loves to get its knee down. And as much as it sticks to the ground, superbly, but also really stands out on the S150, is its ability off the ground. It just loves to flick around, make the most of every little bit of lift. And the way you can flare that front wheel off the center line, Really getting it onto his shoulders so easily. It's just inspiring. Anyone who tells you that 29er wheels or plus wheels are dull, they are so wrong if they ride a bike like this. Right, I've been working really hard to get that suspension totally dialed in recent years. And this is the ultimate expression with that minimal compression damping on it. So the shock just can work as well as it possibly can. So smooth for that extra traction. And then the extra tyre volume for that grip. Triple compound. And if you really want to enduro yourself to bits, it'll take a coil shock for the ultimate mechanical plug. No stitching at all. Not even in standard trim. It's such an easy bike to get on and rip around on. So, how fast can you change between what White call the prime wheel set, the 29er set it comes with, and the option wheel set, which is the 27.5 by 2.8 inch wheel set. And like I say, that comes in either an alloy or a carbon rimmed wheel set with Hope Hubs. And as well as your wheel set, you get the cassette tools, sealant, and they even throw in a digital pressure gauge. So you can make sure you've got those super important large volume tyre pressures absolutely on point when you switch the wheels. And with no geometry flip chips and no different fork length travel needed, just that 6 to 8 mil change in bottom bracket height, it really is a very quick process. Well it would be with a proper Formula 1 mechanic, not me fouling it up. So after a couple of runs on 29, I'm on 27.5 by 2.8 and it gives you a totally different bike. Just lets you get away with really silly lean angles and lack of braking. 2.8, they might not want to call it plus, but it's definitely added to the grip and control you get. This is proper rowdy, but this bike is loving it. All that grip, and again, that light front tyre feel means that however sketchy that surface looks, I'm in a lot more control than I'd normally be in that kind of situation. Natural side park, following EWS races, they have blind stuff, and this bike has just put everything right from the very first segment. You can just play with the trail so easily. It just keeps letting you do things. You think, ah, oh, that's it. I'm not going to make that. 
Hey presto, you're around it. It's still on. Woo! Ha ha! And the Pike Book and Deluxe Shop. So on point with the damping. No hesitation. They're bounced in control on the ground, connected. And shocks are up, I haven't even done any beyond the basic sag. And that's a world of difference between a lot of Fox X2 equipped bikes I've been riding recently with similar travel, similar wheel packages. They can require a ton of setup. It pedals really sharp as well. It's got 170mm cranks. Give me a bit more pedaling clearance. 335mm bomb bracket height with the 29ers in. It's all 328 with the plus in. There you get a couple more pedal taps per run. But that's that stability. It's just so sure footed. Well, it is a comparatively light and certainly very day friendly bike. A bike that's comfortable for hours and yet has the precision and control you need when every split second, every synapse move is absolutely crucial. Keeping you on the trail and keeping the teeth in your head. Woo! Yes! Ah, oh, this is dialed. And the prices of the bikes. Two carbon ones, one alloy one. Really competitive. Even when you start looking at online sellers who don't have a proper dealer network like white i'm trying to be you know critical where i can here but right now i'm struggling it's great shape it's good value the suspension is really easy to set up and get pinning on the geometry is so on your side it's just awesome yeah 170 mil cranks what else is there get arsy about on the s150 I don't know, even at 13.33 kilos, you're not even stuck in that, it's more bike than I need. Boys, the white designers, the white test riders, the white S150, what a bloody marvellous way to ride mountain bike trails as good as that one. Thank you white, thank you white's level. Woo! So. After a day of hot laps on the hottest day of 2017 so far, what do we know about what might just be one of the hottest bikes of the 2018 season? Looking at the bike, there's a lot of familiarity with the uh, existing white models in terms of overall layout. You've got the same, a very similar composite layout front end. But the impressive thing about it, it's still got that excellent ride feel of the T130 and that stiffness, even though there's a lot more leverage coming into it, you know, with the 150mm travel fork with all that extra tire grip it's under a lot more stress but it never shows it it just never bends out of shape the back end uh, all this heavy duty hardware you see here comes out of the g170 bikes uh, but the seat stays have been beefed up and you've got those massive knuckles at the top end which means that they can run the bike without a brace there's tons of tire room classic four bar linkage but now you've got really big pivot bearings throughout and you've got enduro max bearings for the main pivot as well uh, single chain ring specific design again white one of the first people start using that lifetime warranty on the bearings as well you've got that hidden seat clamp so you get a full seal around the reverb seat post and talking in componentry it's pretty me pretty much is a showcase of top trail kit from SRAM right now this is the works bike so you're getting xx1 eagle 12 speed but all the S150 bikes are 12 speed. White have built their own carbon wheels for this bike. 30 mil hoops come as standard in 29er, but like I say, you can also get the wheel packs in a 35 mil with the 2.8 tires. A real key to how this bike handles is that crown there. Basically a 27 and a half inch fork crown put onto 29er legs. So you've got the offset of a 27.5 fork, but with the bigger wheel or the bigger tire, depending on how you use it. Uh, it's a brand new pike with the charger damper, recessed air valve, stiffer, lighter, just an awesome fork. Back end, that's RockShox as well. You've got that deluxe damper there, metric sized, deluxe RT3, so there's all the adjustment you need. But to be honest, we've hardly touched it all day. Uh, haven't even bothered with the pedal switch. It's just such an on point bike. So, white S150C works. You've only ridden it for a day, but it's been one hell of a day and uh, this has made a hell of an impression on me and the speed it's let me hold with some serious riders today is just absolutely phenomenal. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I've certainly enjoyed riding it. It's going to be an interesting year as 2018. Join the test ride. Guy Kes TV.